Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Myers. Welcome to my blog. Today's blog is going to be about the gut and the importance of gut health and healing. It's really impossible to heal yourself if you haven't healed your gut. I'm a functional medicine physician in Austin, Texas, and gut health is really the foundations of my practice. So no matter what you're coming to see me for, whether it's something chronic, such as an autoimmune disease, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, uh, ADD, or um, autism, to something less severe like seasonal allergies, eczema, acne, um, headaches, migraines, irritable bowel, things like that, I always start in the gut, no matter what you're coming to me for. So let's talk about why is the gut so important. Well, it is really, besides our skin, the main barrier to the outside world. It's um, one of our largest organs by surface area, and it's there really to protect us. So um, the, other, the other important aspect of the gut is that 95% of our neurotransmitters, so that's what keeps our moods even and level, are found in our gut. So if you're suffering from anxiety or depression, likely something going on in the gut, some sort of infection or imbalance. If you have an autoimmune disease or an inflammatory disorder, 80 to 90 percent of our immune systems in our gut. So again, where I start when you're coming to me with one of those issues, likely something is going on in the gut for sure. So my next video will talk about the very comprehensive stool test that I do in my clinic and, and walk you through that test. But for now, we're going to um, stick with what I'm going to talk about now is leaky gut and how I repair a leaky gut. So I like to give this demonstration of our gut sits together with these tight junctions. I mean, that's really what holds our gut together and protects us from the outside world. And then we digest and absorb with our teeny tiny villi right here. As we bombard our system with foods we're sensitive to, like maybe gluten or dairy, medicines that we're on, um, antacids, to pain medicines like Advil, um, Tylenol, um, uh, if we're taking um, steroids or um, any other types of medications, the environment itself, toxins in the environment that we're breathing in every day, we're maybe drinking in and water or eating in foods can also disrupt this. Over time, just age can also disrupt this and certainly stress. So as we, as we get bombarded with uh, these different toxins or foods or stress, over time these tight junctions break apart. And then what happens is large particles of food that were not meant to get into our bloodstream are able to enter into our bloodstream. So I like to use gluten as the example. That's one of the most inflammatory foods, in my opinion, gets in, begins to stimulate our immune system, and then boom, we get autoimmune diseases. For me, I got Graves' disease, an autoimmune disease of my thyroid. For other people, it might be ADD or anxiety or migraine headaches to cancer or some other sort of autoimmune disease. So really my goal is to seal up this, these tight junctions and get that gut back intact. Of course, with celiac, um, the worst case scenario with celiac is that these villi actually blunt down. That's the definition of celiac and then, of course, break apart. But we're going to make the assumption that most people out there don't have celiac and so they still have their villi, but they just have their gut broken apart. And so we really want to heal this. And we do that, or how I do that in my clinic, is something called um, a 4R program. So we remove, um, we restore, we re-inoculate, and then we repair. And I'm going to walk through that. So what are we removing? We're removing um, many of the things that I mentioned at first. We're removing um, foods that we may be sensitive to, top inflammatory foods being gluten and dairy and soy and corn. We're removing in, uh, toxic foods like caffeine and sugar and alcohol. So you can find my full list and read my ebook, The Myers Way. That's the exact program that I have each of my patients go through. So you can do that at home, or again, we have monthly guided cleanses with my nutritionist that that you can partake in. We want to make this available to everybody out there. So we remove those foods. We also remove um, infections that may be in the gut, parasites, candida or fungus, or even bacterial overgrowth. And again, I diagnose that based on the stool test that I'll talk about in my next video. So we remove, again, the foods and the infections that may be there. We re-inoculate with good bacteria. So again, I look at the stool test and I find out what your levels of your good bacteria, what I call your army, what your army is doing for you in there. Do you have the right amount of the right stuff? If not, we give you more. I believe most people out there really could benefit from a probiotic, one with multiple strains of about you know, 50 billion units a day. So that's what I recommend for my patients. And then we want to uh, restore. 
and we want to restore things that might be missing, like digestive enzymes. I find a lot of people maybe have their gallbladder out. They didn't realize they had an issue and they got their gallbladder out because they were having stomach pain when really they just needed to remove something else, but like gluten. Uh, so we, re we uh, restore also maybe digestive um again, digestive enzymes as well as stomach acid. A lot of people out there walking around with low stomach acid. They're on these proton pump inhibitors. They're on um, Tums at night and it's really not that they have low stomach acid. It's that they are eating foods that are causing problems for them creating an issue and then they take these um, medicines to lower their stomach acid, but they actually need more stomach acid. It's kind of counterintuitive. So again, we look to see what needs to be restored in there in terms of digestive enzymes, maybe uh, bile salts if you're missing your gallbladder, or um, stomach acid, HCL. And then we go ahead and we repair the gut. And we repair the gut with gut healing herbs and amino acids. One of my favorites that I use here in my clinic is L-glutamine. It's an amino acid that really helps our gut rejuvenate the lining much more quickly. There are some other herbs that you can use like slippery elm and marshmallow and then of course a really good multivitamin to make sure that um, we we have enough zinc and vitamin A and vitamin C to really um, help with wound healing. I mean you've created a wound there with the breaking of the tight junctions. So again um, the 4R program is really how you want to start in order to heal yourself. There are many people out there suffering with chronic diseases and they've changed their diet and that is the first place to start for sure. And when I find that just changing the diet alone does not help, then you absolutely need to look at the gut. So you can follow our 4R program and um, hope that this helps getting you the foundations to health and getting you well and happy healing. Thanks so much.